mentoring students with disabilities in research experiences. Text, Richard Ladner, University of Washington. My name is Richard Ladner. I'm the principal investigator for Access Computing, an NSF-funded project with the goal of increasing the participation and success of students with disabilities in computing fields. Every summer, we support students in the Computing Research Association's Distributed Research Experiences for Undergraduates program. Many of these students continue their research and go on to graduate school. A student wears a VR headset. Another looks at robotics components. Text. Aaron. Hi, everyone. My name is Aaron Howard. I use she and they pronouns, and I am a student at Western Washington University. I applied a lot of statistical analysis via Python to programmatically pre-classify over 275,000 light curves from stars in the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite Database. Text, Amelia. Amelia communicates with sign language. Hi, my name is Amelia Belden and I am from Gallaudet University. To the right of Amelia, pages scrolled by of a paper titled Teleconference Captioning Accessibility. The project is about improving live captioning and teleconferencing like Zoom, Hangouts, and Meet. When I first saw the project, I thought, yes, what better than to help improve the accessibility of the deaf community and those who need access. For me, mentors were what helped me be successful in computing and the IT field. They have disabilities themselves. They can't hear, can't speak, but that didn't stop them from being successful. Text, Brianna. Hi, my name is Brianna Weimer, and I am currently a student at the University of Alabama. My disability is ADHD, and so just for me, it's helped me develop a passion of what I want to work in and develop that kind of determination behind it. My project over the summer was basically about making a biofeedback game that increases emotional regulation through respiration techniques and uses positive reinforcement. A computer screen shows a Z-shaped piece falling against the black background. A reversed L-shaped piece sits under the label, next. Below the text, lines, zero, score, zero. The advice I'd give to research mentors working with students who have a disability, um, be patient and be kind of aware of their situation. Also be sure to check in with the student frequently and make sure they have access to information as well as be able to communicate. Take your time with them. Allow them to open up to you about it. Don't kind of push for it just allow them to get close enough to you because when they do they will feel comfortable enough to talk to you about their disability and talk to you about what they need as a student with disability to help them and then once you know that information you can help them to the best of your abilities to learn more about supporting students with disabilities visit the access computing website uw.edu access computing Access Computing is funded by the National Science Foundation, grant number 1539179. Any questions, findings, and conclusions or recommendations expressed in this material are those of the author and do not necessarily reflect the views of the federal government. Copyright 2022. Permission is granted to copy these materials for educational, non-commercial purposes, provided the source is acknowledged.